Hello again YouTube from the Turbo Cave this time. I have this OM651 Mercedes turbocharger exhaust hosing in the mail. Actually this is one of the two turbos that's in the engine. There's there's high pressure turbo, smaller one and this bigger one, the low pressure side. And the exhaust side is pretty restrictive on stock form and I don't like it so I'm going to I've machined this out for a 2 mm bigger turbine wheel and the original has 11 or 12 what you would call them blade yeah 12 blade turbine wheel and it's it's pretty restrictive so I've machined machined the housing for a bigger wheel two millimeter bigger this is the housing is stock is 45 mil and now it's 47.15 and and I may made this radius tool so that so that I can cut the radius in there and here's the Here's the turbine that I'm going to be using, 9 blade, high flow, lightweight turbine. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. If it's gonna work then yeah, it's nice. And I have 3 millimeter bigger compressor side also. Yeah. I'm going to test fit this here. It's gonna... Yeah, I need to torque this down and see if it'll fit, and I'll continue this video after that. Oh yeah, feeling like Cinderella. The shoe fits. Yeah. So now we have have a bigger, better. I don't know if you can see in here, no, it's dark. Yeah. Now we have upgraded low pressure turbo. Now I need to machine the compressor housing and assemble and test. I'm going to I'm going to port the wastegate on this one because it's very small and now that we have more gases going there I want to ease up the PID controllers job a little bit and make the port a little bit bigger so the pressure is more easy easier to control. But yeah, now we have have a beautiful beautiful turbo and here's the here's the smaller one that I was talking about this is this is like this is like very tiny as you can see the small cousin but yeah this this turbo's job is just to Spool up and get the bigger one running. Get the boost pressure up from the low RPM, and it it does an excellent job. So I'm not gonna mess with that one because all the flow goes through this one after the transition when the valve opens and the bigger turbo takes over. So. The reason I wanted to do this because all of the exhaust goes through the bigger turbo and the housing is very small and the turbine wheel is very restrictive for its size and I just want to test if, if this is a viable 
solution to get a little more power and more how should I say efficiency out of the system because I don't like the exhaust back pressure because I don't run exhaust gas circulation on my application so yeah anyways if you have any questions or comments put them down below and you all stay safe and have a nice day bye